going to walk you through the installation and configuration steps for Dataset Viewer. First, you need to ensure following prerequisites are met before you can start using Dataset Viewer. Number one, you have access to mainframe, and I do. Number two, CA File Master Plus is installed on your mainframe, and in my case it is. Number three, Zoe Explorer extension is installed and configured with the ZUSMF profile. And we can check that quickly. So I already have a Zoe Explorer installed. I have a TSO1 ZUSMF profile defined and I'm already listing some of my datasets. And if I do a right click on a data set, this is, this is the context menu for, uh, for this data set. And once the data set viewer is installed, there will be two additional items that you can use. So I also, I, I met, uh, number three. So number four is that the CA file master plus visual studio code Rex library is available. And I know where it is and for for this prerequisite, uh, you can you can met it by two ways. First, you can you can use a shared library, so someone else is already in, uh, already allocated it, so you can just use it and share it. Or if you are the first one, or you want to create your own, you can you can do so. For doing so, I'm going to use the Zoe Explorer. So under the US Explorer, I'll just hit this icon and create new uh, dataset partitioned. I'll provide a name. And my library has been created and I'm going to provide a new member. The new member name is Kava ESN. And the content the content of this of this library is this member that you can down, download from our public git uh, repository so i'm going to open it and in here i'm going to select and copy all going back to zoe and populate this member with this content if you look way up there is one needed field to be populated which is the fmp load lib so I'll do so. I'll provide my uh, file master uh, load library. E1 QA FM MBS 110 QA and CDBI load. That's it. I'm going to save it, put it back on mainframe. And those are all the prerequisites needed for the initial setup. So now I can install the dataset viewer. Installing and it says that I need to do some, some additional settings. So I go to extension settings and here are on, only, only three options. First is record limit, by default 100. And you can, you can change it uh, to whatever you, you want and essentially it tells you how many records are downloaded in, in one request. If there are more, you will be, indicate, uh, you will, you will be indicated by that and um, you can uh, ask for more. If you specify zero, it will download everything by default. This is the Rex library. So I'll provide the Rex library. Yes. Rex lib. And the last one is uh, SSH port of your uh, mainframe uh, Unix system services. And in most cases, it's default 22. If it would be any, any different in your case, you need to change it in here. So now we've successfully installed and configured uh, Dataset Viewer. So let's double check that. So now if I do the right click, I see two new options. One is copy dataset name, which is just a nice um, way of getting the dataset name to your clipboard. And this is the actual functionality of, visuals, uh, of Dataset Viewer us csv you can provide layout it's already pre-filled for me so i'll hit enter i do not need to specify selection criteria downloading records and here it is all the records have been downloaded there is no more and i've just confirmed that my dataset viewer is installed and configured properly thank you for watching and happy dataset viewing